guys welcome back to video number nine and hopefully this will be the last one for my table um, today I'm going to uh, put the final coat on the table you saw in the last video the making of the base which turned out beautiful I'm very happy with it Eric's very happy with it he worked really hard so now I'm going to mix the resin so I've got of course the total boat tabletop resin and I'm going to mix about a gallon, so I've got two quarts of resin and two quarts of the hardener. So, let's uh, get it all together. Uh, Eric, my timer is right there. Oops, over the edge. Whoop. It's not as warm as I was hoping it would be today. But that's all right. I think it'll be okay. Get all that in there. You don't want to waste it. So, again, this is the resin. And then we have got the timer. I'm ready. I'm go. The hardener. but it's not like a, a thick one. This should be fairly thin. I just want to get that final coat on. I sanded it down because it's been upside down out there for quite a while. Had some scratches on it. So, now I will get it mixed up. So this again we mix for three minutes. So I'm going to start mixing it. We'll turn the camera off, finish mixing it, and then we'll come back and um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so now we're ready. So what we did to prep the board, I sanded the whole surface. There were some scratches because, I mean, my gosh, it's been up there for... Five months. Five months, upside down and everything, and then it actually kind of cupped a little bit. So what I did, this was Eric's idea, I put tape along the end, there's a gnat. I put tape just along the end, just to kind of keep the resin from flowing out and hopefully level off. Gosh darn it. Hopefully it will level off. I'm pulling it's the It's gnat season It's here. gnat season. So that's my plan. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There he is, land in the resin, you turkey. All right, so. Fingers crossed, here we go. Okay. We'll start with this. I'm really gonna have to come out here and keep a watch because there are nets out here. So so I want that. Oh, there's one of those white things. Alright, so I'm just going to move this around and go down here. I gotta get this stir stick. Probably gonna end up using my hands because that's how I like to do it. There's another one of those white things. So this should be the last stage, you guys. Lord willing, huh? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, because I really want it in my dining room. And I know I have watched hundreds of videos on pouring resin, and I don't think anybody makes the mess like I do. So, a lot of resin in there still. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to move it around. 
crown, fill everything up. What are you going to bet? I get it on my new shirt. I should probably put my apron on. Yeah, that is your new shirt. Huh? Yeah. Can you grab one of those aprons? Wrap it around me, please. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to let this resin set for probably, I don't know, an hour. And then I'm going to come in kind of like what we did with that serving board that we made. I'm going to take the tape off and then get the sides evened out. I don't want the resin hard. But I want, I still want to be able to move it when I pull that tape off so that I can get the sides of the uh, table. So that's, that's my plan. So I'm going to finish moving this around and then, uh, then we'll be back. So stick with us. Welcome back. All right, so we got the resin on it. I'm just going around and torching it, get the bubbles out as much as I can. When we come back, um, I don't know, Eric thinks an hour may not be enough, but I'll be checking this so that I know when to bring that um, tape off and bring that resin over the edge. I don't want it too tacky because I'm going to use a brush and go along the side. So I want it still loose soft whatever however you want to call it but uh i keep seeing stuff in my resin that's the last layer it's in there from the last one anyway so we'll be back in just a few minutes a uh, few minutes for you hour hour and a half for us and then um, we'll check it and see how it's doing so we'll be back in a minute Guys, I'm going to pull this tape. I think this stuff's getting thick in spots, and I want to make sure that I have plenty of uh, wet resin to cover these edges. So, I'm going to pull it off of here. It'll, it will flow down the sides, and then I will finish up these spots that don't have resin on them. I'm going to go ahead on the other side and pull that one down and let it start flowing too. Okay. So what's your thought on this? You're pulling this tape after about what? It's only been like maybe 30 minutes. So I just want to cover up any of these dry spots. There's a hair in there. Yeah. No, dri no drips on the bottom you can uh, well, pick from? Yeah. doing guys I don't know whether you can see this or not let me see if I can zoom in where that tape was there's some dry spots and what we're trying to do is 
to avoid having to do any more pours after this. So we're taking some resin off the bottom. And um, kind of putting resin on those dry spots where the tape was. Seems to be working over here. You got enough over there? So far. Tell you what, man, that thing looks pretty darn flat now compared to what it did before. So what we had was let me move the here. What we had really was a dip. It was it was it kind of cupped. And I think that was from setting outside and uh and the heat and contraction i don't know exactly what it was but this ended up having a cup to it so uh the whole idea was to fill this area and uh, bring it up and man now it looks pretty darn flat on the top so i think that uh, gallon was just about right all right you see I, any i think your uh, your idea with the with the tape i think worked um I just put my finger in it right there. So. All right, so you can see that it is still flowing. We've covered it just enough that it should flow all the way through. So, which means that will be that should be the last pour then. That should be it. It be done. Unless something happens in the next oh, few gosh. hours. Don't say that. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully the next scene will be us putting this baby in the dining room. So, that's it, guys. We will, <laughs> Lord willing, um, on the next scene we should be putting everything together. So, <sighs> stick with us. All right, folks, we are getting close. So, we're in the house. We've got the base in here, and we'll be moving the the tabletop in here in a few minutes, but I want to go over a couple things here. There was a couple questions, comments. So when we put these brackets in, uh, these brackets, the cool thing is they have holes. So what we're going to do is we're going to put screws from the bottom of the, um, from here up into the, the tabletop. Um, it, we're not going to be moving this thing around. Once it's in place, I think it's going to stay in place. Although we are, we do have some pads that are coming that are going to fit underneath the uh, right on the bottom, and those will allow us to spin the whole thing if we want. Now we we're just not sure. Uh, we might need extra brackets underneath, maybe just some L brackets or something to hold that tabletop in place. But I really don't think so. Two screws on on. Um, on each corner, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, that thing's heavy. It's not really moving a lot. Yeah, I think it's just going to sit there anyway. So, anyhow, uh, this is where right now we've got the length going this way. Vicky's got to decide once it gets in here. We made this base four inches shorter all the way around. So, uh, it basically is going to be an extra four inches all the way around the way the base is sitting. And Vicky thinks this is the way she wants it. But again, when once we've got those pads, we'll be able to spin it. So, next step, Eric and I are and Vicky are going to move that tabletop in here. I'm going to back it up. Uh, I'm going to put it in the back of the truck, back it up to the front door, and then Eric and I are going to muscle this thing and get it in here. So, uh, wish us luck and wish us uh, free of injury, especially in regards to me. Anyway, so uh, next scene, it should be setting in place. See you in a minute. Okay, you guys, we are finally done and i'm so ecstatic so excited so she's done we haven't got her attached yet it's not screwed on yet but we figured you didn't need to see him screwing from underneath the screwing it in there so here she is she's uh it's about what i expected there i you i do have flaws in my resin but that's okay i don't care <laughs> I love it and I'm so happy with it. The base turned out absolutely beautiful and um, thank you to my honey who I could not have done any of this without. 
Come over here, baby. Okay, let me so, yeah. get one more shot of the So bags. this is a one of a kind, definitely. Nobody will ever have one like mine, exactly like mine. Somebody will fix, tweak it or do their own thing, but um, I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy that this is finally done. I am going to make some bench seats to go um, on both sides and on the ends. Um, but that probably won't be a video um, series because look how long this one took. <laughs> so, but I will, you know, show you guys those when they're done and ready. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for following along. I hope you learned maybe a little bit um, from my mistakes, from our mistakes. And um, we sure did. We sure did. We learned a lot. So I learned I will never make another one this big. <laughs> It was a chore getting it through that yes. door. Me and Eric, it was all we could do yeah. to get it through there with uh, rolling dollies. And yeah, it, I, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's hundreds it's of pounds. Hundreds of pounds, yes. Yeah, it's, so, uh, yeah, anyway, it's guys, lot. thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with us while we did this nine video, ten video. Yeah, this is number nine. Number nine. Yep. yep. Um, sorry it took so long, but life happens and business happens. And that's just Maybe the way this is number goes. ten. I'm not sure. Nine or ten. I don't know. Anyway. Can't remember. Um, so, thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah. Anything? That's, um, that's that's it. We're, uh, we've got a lot more big projects coming up. And we've got um, some really exciting news. So, stay tuned. And uh, you should be seeing this on Wednesday. You definitely want to check out Friday's video live. Because we're going to be making a huge, huge announcement. And uh, you guys are going to want to know about that. So, um, or I hope you do. Anyway, thanks for watching, Give guys. Give us thumbs up if yeah. you don't mind. That way it comments. shows up on the algorithm. Comments, comments, comments. Please, comments on the YouTube channel. Even if channel. it's just a hey. Or yeah. don't yeah. say, you know, it sucks or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would Try to good. keep it positive. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you so much. You just don't know. And um, we're on to the next project. So see ya. we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.